Do you want to learn exactly how to make 3D animations just like Imangaji, all inside DaVinci Resolve? Well, today I'm going to take you through the whole process of how to create these animations in 3D space just like Imangaji. The first thing we're going to need is some assets. I found this city background on Freepik and just broken it down into layers. You can download the Illustrator project. I don't have Illustrator, so I converted it to a PSD, but Having it broken down into separate layers is super important to get that really nice parallax effect. So now that we've got our cityscape all broken down, we can start working in Fusion. So we just come into Resolve and drop a Fusion composition in. And we'll just bring it out a little bit to say 15 seconds and hit the Fusion button. Now, the first node we're gonna need is a Renderer 3D. And then before that, we need a Merge 3D. And then before that, we need a Camera 3D. So we can just connect all these up and then above our Merge 3D, we need an Image Plane 3D. And we can just plug that one in here. So you can't really see anything right now because, well, there's nothing plugged in. But if we come to a split screen and press 1 on our Merge, we can bring up the 3D space. So let's start building out our scene. First thing we need is the sky. And we just drop that into our Image Plane. Then we just build our scene backwards from there, having every element just a little bit further in front. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to turn my camera into the right view. So one about... 50 on the angle of view. Perfect. And now we can copy our image plane, bring in another merge, that into there, and then we get our next layer. And then we want to pull this just a little bit in front of the sky. And then we just keep going and putting one in front of the other. And we're just going to scale up this back one by like 1.2. And we're going to scale up the sky to two. So now we've got everything in order for our city. Bring this back in. Now we're going to put in our grid for our ground plane. And I just made this grid in DaVinci with a gradient background a grid node and just some um, masking just to sort of fade out the edges a bit so now we obviously want this to be a ground plane so we come into transform x rotation to 270 degrees so now it's flat but not in the right spot and da vinci crashed great so again transform 270 degrees so it rotates the right way and then we can bring it forward and bring it down but it's too far away so let's bring it right to the edge of these so right on the edge bring it forward a little bit more and now bring it down again so that's cool like that so now we're just going to do some rescaling just going to scale this up by two and we got to bring it back again punch our camera in a bit so now our camera is sort of in the right spot of where we would want it to be we just need to resize and remove everything so there's no gaps so it looks good So now we've got our city scene built the way we want. As we move around the scene, you get that really nice parallax effect. So now that we've got all of our city built out and in its own nodes, we are going to change up the colors a bit because I don't like the way the colors interact with the background. We want everything to sort of be the same. So we're going to go shift plus and put a color corrector. And then just for this, we're going to bring the saturation down to about 0.3 and then bring it over to blue. Bring the saturation up a little bit. Cool. We want it to be sort of like nighttime. So now we've got more of a nighttime scene and it looks a bit better with the background. Everything's that sort of same color tone. And now you can just highlight all this, hit Command G, just group it all, hit F2 to rename it and call it city. So this is just so our node section doesn't get super busy and we can stay nice and organized. All right, now we've got to fill out our scene with some stuff. So the first thing we've got is this character that I animated. If you guys want to learn how to animate 2D characters and everything, watch out for my next video and make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be running you through exactly how I animate 2D characters. So in this, we need to put another image plane. All these nodes for this are all basically the same thing. And then we put another merge and bring that in. You can see it's just way too big. I'm going to scale it down a lot, bringing him a bit closer to the camera. And we are going to get this color corrector and see what it looks like on the character. Okay, so now it's got a bit of that bluey tinge. 
but it matches the scene a bit better. So that is basically all we do for our 2D character. All we need to add in now is a shadow. We just want to copy all of this. Command C, Command V, put it into another merge and then come into the image plane and we just rotate it on the X axis, 90 degrees, no, 270 degrees, sorry. And then we bring this down onto the ground plane and then move it back, come into our color corrector and we can just bring gamma all the way down. Now we just put a rectangle on top bring the width and the height all the way up, bring the level down, and then put a Gaussian blur. So now you can see here, we've got a nice shadow for our character. Now we can just start building out a few more of our elements. So Iman likes to use these sort of transparent boxes to show text in these scenes. So to get that, bring in a background node, plug it into an image plane and plug the image plane into another merge bring that forward and it's obviously way too big and then we put a rectangle bring the corner radius up bring the width down and bring the height down and we can just bring the level down to like 0.7 ish and make the color like a blue cool that matches the scene really nice now you're not gonna really be able to see them i want it to look sort of like frosted glass so we can bring it down bring it across and maybe rotate it a little bit on the y-axis cool and now we can just copy that as many times as you need i think they're even probably a bit too big still let's just scale it down to like 0.7 and then same on these now, just in between the background and the image plane we're going to put a glow node and the glow size down Bring the actual glow up, I'll bring the glow down as well, and then bring this down to like 0.5. So you can see there, just that glow node gives it a bit more of that like frosted blurred look. Now we're just gonna spread these out a little bit because we've got to add some text in. So we just grab our image plane, go shift plus, put a merge, and then we add a text node on top. And we're gonna use the Rubik text. It's just a nice clean text. And we just go one, bring it, forward just a tiny bit so it sits like in the frame properly now lastly we want to spread these out even more because we need to add the shadows so shadows again super simple we can just copy and paste these get our image plane and our x rotation we go 90 degrees and then we bring it down so it's sitting on the ground plane just like so bring it back and then get our background, change that to black. And we get rid of the glow node and replace the glow node with a Gaussian blur. And just turn the Gaussian blur up a bit. Okay, I just had to stop filming for a minute because uh, DaVinci just kept crashing. But we've got our scene completely built out. I just had to add those shadows in. So all that's left to do now is animate our camera. Just gonna add keyframes on all of the translation and all of the rotation. So this is our starting point. I'm gonna come in, let's say 60 frames. I'm gonna push in a bit and we're gonna go down a bit. And then we're gonna grab our rotation. We really wanna show this cool parallax effect. So we're gonna come forward another 30 frames. And we're gonna come up a bit, across a bit. And we're gonna bring the X rotation to like mm, negative two and the Y rotation to like negative five, oh, sorry, plus five. That's cool. So, and then we're gonna come forward another, let's say another 60 frames. And we're gonna go out forwards and the X rotation to zero, the Y rotation to negative two, and then come forward another 30 frames, come across, down, and bring this to like negative five. Go down and bring this to plus five. See how that looks. Command S, render it out. Perfect. And then we're gonna come forward another, let's go 90 frames. So to frame 270, and we're just gonna push in and bring the X rotation back to zero. So now that we've got all of our camera movements down, just click on our camera node, spline, highlight the camera. Hit this button to see everything, Command A and S, and that's just gonna smooth out all of those camera moves. And that is how you create a 3D animation just like Iman Gaji.
If you guys have any other sort of animations or anything like that you want to see me recreate, or you just want to learn how to do, drop them down in the comments and make sure you watch this video here next because I think you'll find some really good value in it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.